Hey everybody, Kalani here with a little update, pre-DCM course, Developmental Community Music. So if you're watching this, you're planning on coming, or you're signed up for the DCM course in Los Angeles, I'm very excited to be bringing this back again to the Holy Spirit Retreat Center. This video is about helping you prepare for the course. So if you're, well, if you're thinking about coming to the course, or if you are coming to the course, this video is for you. There's a few books that I want to recommend that you have. It's going to make your time at the course more productive. It'll make my life easier because I won't be answering so many questions and we'll be able to spend more time doing things like playing music and working on what we need to work on uh, during the course. So I'm going to give you the rundown on that and we'll talk a little bit about uh, some other things, how to get more out of the course. Um, now, many of you know this book, Together in Rhythm. This is the book from 2005. This is the focus, the core competencies, the core concepts uh, of the DCM approach. So developmental community music, get this book. It's from, um, from Alfred Publishing. You can get this just about anywhere. Comes with a DVD and um, it's, a, it's chock full. <laughs> Of, uh, of resources, ideas, just tons and tons of, of great information in here. So get your hands on Together in Rhythm. Go through it, watch the DVD if you can, you know, just absorb that whole thing. Also, 2011, I published this. Now, while this book called The Way of Music is primarily aimed at music therapists, however, uh, it's not exclusive to music therapists. Music educators, music facilitators can get a lot out of this book. So this is a book that comes with audio, comes with a CD or downloads. We're working on downloads. Right now it comes with a CD. This is from Sarsen Publishing. It's a wonderful book for anybody who's looking for a way to develop their music skills from the very basics of listening and making basic sounds to working up and making elemental music. Very accessible, very basic. In a way, going back and doing some remedial music work for those of you that have music skills, or a way for those of you who wanna get more into music to develop a solid platform in a way that's non-threatening, very organic, very person-centered, and you learn at your own pace. Then this has a lot of musical facilitation skills based in music therapy, but absolutely accessible and that may be applied outside of music therapy by non-music therapists in numerous ways. Um, also facilitative skills for groups and individuals. So this book also very full, lots of great information. If you can, get your hands on this and go through that. Then last year, I published this one with Hal Leonard Publishing. This is called Kalani's World Rhythms and it's full of Six arrangements, so you, these are songs from different countries, uh, Caribbean, area, Brazil, and West Africa. And the reason we're using this is because these songs, the six songs in here, are time-tested, very useful, very accessible, very easy songs that you or anybody that you work with, groups, uh, many of you want to work with groups in different ways, these are super fun and easy but they're also authentic and very musical. So that's why they're in this book. I love them, I use them. I just used these songs yesterday in a group, uh, one of my music therapy sessions. But I use these with kids, with adults. Um, we get a lot out of them because it's authentic music. So every song has a, has a story or what we call the program, uh, which you can use also to facilitate expression, peer support, group cohesion, community building, and I will show you guys how I do that and we'll talk about how you can do it. So make sure you get a copy of this. This also comes with a code that allows you access to um, video and audio. So all the instruments have video, all there's audio for everything, all the songs, all the drumming, rhythms, everything. It's got media support. So get your hands on that one. And then if you want, get this. Drum Fun DVD, this is my most popular DVD. We sell a lot of these because they're fun rhythm games and musical games. So these can be done with groups. Well, it's for groups. 
and this uh, is just people love this. It's the best seller. Uh, if you work with groups, kids, adults, corporate, camps, any kind of things like that, uh, you need this musical games for groups. We're going to be doing some of these. We're not going to do a ton of musical games, but we will do some, and you will do some. The people that are coming back to the DCM course, uh, you're going to lead some of these. So make sure to review that. Uh, lastly, I don't have a copy because I just sell them uh, through Am Amazon, but there's also a DVD called The Drum Circle, A Musical Approach. And that one, I'm very proud of. It kind of comes from the way of music material. It comes from using some of the techniques that music therapists use in their work. But of course, anybody can use the techniques in a different way to facilitate music making, to facilitate listening, communication, peer support, community growth. Uh, and what we do is we use our music, the way we play the music, and the way we shape the music to facilitate those things rather than standing up and doing something like conducting from the middle of the group, which can be, although it can be effective, is a very behavioral way and a very strong kind of controlling way to get people to do something, right? So if you want a more gentle way that allows you to be more covert and facilitate from the side, facilitate through the music where you're not demanding everybody's attention, maybe you don't want everybody's attention, um, maybe you do want everybody's attention, but you probably know it's better that if they, that they keep their attention on themselves and each other and not all their eyeballs glued to you all the time. If you think that's a good idea, as I do, <laughs> then you want to get your hands on the Drum Circle and Musical Approach DVD and watch that before you come to the course. So it's going to feel like maybe you're doing two or three courses worth of work before you actually come to the course, but the thing is we want to hit the ground running. I want to make your course time more productive, which means I want to make it more about you doing and practicing rather than me explaining and answering questions, right? Because nobody wants to sit around and listen to me talk and yap and flap my yapper for hours and hours, even though I can. One of the reasons I'm doing this video is so we can get this out of the way before we get to the course. So we'll make more music uh, during the course. All right. So, you know, the DCM course is my one of my passions. We've I've been doing this over 10 years. Um, is it coming up on, man, it might be coming up on almost 20 years. Is that possible? I think it might be possible. Yikes. <laughs> All right, so whether you're considering coming or you are coming, that's wonderful. You can always contact me at kalanidas at gmail.com. My personal website is kalanimusic.com. The DCM site, Developmental Community Music site is playsinglaugh.com. That's where you can register if you haven't already. And just as long as I'm making this video, I wanted to invite you all to check out my other website. It's more about spirituality, mindfulness. That is KalaniDoss.com. And as of this video, we just launched the YouTube channel, Evolve with Kalani Das. So the Evolve channel is all of the um, content that, I, that I've published through the Evolve podcast, which is on iTunes. So that's all related to mindfulness and spirituality. You guys probably aren't interested in any of that. Uh, but if you are, you can check that out. <laughs> if you're interested, which you're probably not interested in mindfulness or spirituality, because why would you be? Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. I look forward to seeing you all sometime soon.